Hey guys, uh, in this event time video tutorial series um, video, we are going to cover the full calendar add-on um, installation, setup, and display on the front end of what it will look like. So um, if you have purchased the full calendar add-on at myeventon.com, um, you can download it from your account there, and then you'll have the zip file, and you'll need to install it in your WordPress um, dashboard. So I'm already at my dashboard. I'm going to find my file, and here we go. I'm going to throw that in there. I'm going to install that and it's installed. I'm going to activate it really quick and that is done. So now I'm going to go to the My Event on settings really quick and look at a couple different things of what we can change for the full calendar. Uh, once you have the full calendar installed you'll see this new tab here which is new because it's um, part of the add-on. Uh, it does not display in the basic calendar uh, I'm sorry, the basic plugin. Uh, you can change all the different colors, um, the date box numbers and everything, the day color names. Uh, I'm going to leave them by default there. Uh, there's also, if you change options, you can reset things to default. So it's going to leave that as it is. And um, let's use the full calendar add on. Let's go to our page or pages. And I'm going to add a new page and let's call it full calendar page, I guess. Um, now when we click our add events on, you'll see this new option here for the full cow. So I'm going to click that. Let's start off with the calendar ID to make sure it has its own unique name and its own unique uh, value when the website is loaded. So I'm just going to call it full cow one. Um, I'm going to show the featured images, which will be part of the list underneath the full calendar when it's loaded. Uh, I still don't have any featured events. We can cover that later. Um, month grid interaction. Uh, what I'm going to do is let's leave it at default for now. Uh, you can kind of play with that on your own and figure out the events. I just want to basically show you the initial setup for this. Um, let's see. I want to leave the event cards closed so I can individually open them. Um, we can show the jump months option. That's the arrows. Um, switch the first of the month. This is this can come in handy if you want when switching from April to May. Um, it will go to the first of May, June, July, August every time you switch the month. Instead of like today is the tenth of April, um, it won't switch to the tenth of May. It'll just go to the first month. So let's check that. You can see down below. Here's the options being set in there. Um, heat style box coloring, um, that's a new addition that Ashan added to the calendar. Uh, we, can, we can add that. And then also the style, so we have default and circle. Let's leave it at default for now, and let's just load this. So if I really wanted to, guys, just throw the calendar in there, get it on my page, that's all I would need. Um, but let's load it with the options that I have and publish it and see what it looks like. So the page has been published. Let's open that page up. And there we go, a beautiful looking calendar, default colors. And again, here's the jump months. If I want to change uh, where I'm going, uh, if you saw that page kind of um, go dark there, that's something specific to my theme that I'm using uh, when I highlight items. It shows a highlight item. So that's not part of Eventon. Um, I can go different months here for the full calendar. Uh, let's click on a day. Um, the reason there's no events under this calendar is because I'm currently on the first of the month now. Um, if I go to the 17th, for instance, there's my spaghetti dinner, 22nd, 24th. It will display how many events. Um, I have it set as a pop-up. So there's my, my event for the spaghetti dinner. Um, I can't remember if I had the macaroni as a slide down. There it is. The macaroni event, since it's keeping its own value for the interaction, it is a slide down. Um, you can imagine if I had five events on the 22nd, they'd all be listed underneath nicely and color coordinated. 
to what I would have them. Um, the sword options, sorry guys, I keep clicking on uh, and highlighting things. Um, they are here as well. So if I wanted just the ones for London, there we go. The full calendar is now only showing my London events, um, which happen to be the dinners. So there they are. And that is the full calendar. Uh, you can get a little more in depth with this with some more options, but this is the full calendar display. It's beautiful. Um, it is an add-on you must purchase at myeventon.com. It does not come with the basic uh, base plugin that you buy at Code Canyon. Uh, next time we'll cover some new stuff.